Hey y'all, good Saturday evening. Good Saturday evening. Um, I wanted to share a couple of cookies with you all. Now they're separate videos, okay? But we're gonna start with some tea cakes. Yes, tea cakes. And believe it or not, even kids like tea cakes. They are fabulous. They're not really, really sweet. Um, just a little bit of spice in them, okay? You can use any kind of spice you want. I'm using cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg um, and a whole lot of butter, okay? Let's get started on these tea cakes. All right, good morning, y'all. Let's get started on these tea cakes, okay? Um, really, really simple, all right? And tea cakes are, I mean, they're delicious. They're not overly sweet, and the kids will eat them. The kids around here love tea cakes, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm putting in them. And what I'm going to do right now is that we're just going to make the dough. And then we're going to take the dough, put it in a ball, wrap it up in some plastic, and put it in the refrigerator. You need to let this get cold. It needs to be in there at least one hour, okay? You can go over that, of course, but give it an hour. And then you take it and we'll take it out together and roll them out. All right, so we have two sticks of butter in here. They're very soft, uns unsalted butter, unsalted butter. And, and basically, anytime I bake and I just say soft and butter, it's unsalted. I don't buy salted butter unless a recipe specifically calls for, for that, but then I'll let you know, okay? I have two sticks in here. I have one and one-fourth cups of sugar granulated sugar, one and one-fourth cups. I have two eggs, two large eggs, okay? I have three cups of all-purpose flour, all right? And in this flour, I put a half teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt. I put a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, and then we're going to add uh, about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That's it for this recipe. Okay, it's that simple and it is going to be a dough. So we're not going to look for it to look like a cake. All right, and I'm going to go ahead on and get this butter going. It's already soft, so it's not a lot I have to do to it. Okay, I'm going to put my uh, one and one fourth cups of sugar in. All right, and we're going to get to mixing that. I'm going to let this mix up, y'all. All right, it's only been a minute, okay? We're not trying to cream it like we would for a cake. We just want to get that sugar and that butter combined. I'm going to put my eggs in. I have one egg there. Let me stop this phone, y'all. All right, and there's my second egg. Let's wipe down our sides so we can get all of this combined. These cookies or cakes, it's kind of in between the both of them, okay? They're soft cookies. At least that's what I call them. All right, we're going to let that mix just a little bit there. All right, y'all, it's only been going for about a minute. I'm going to take, I'm going to start adding in my flour. And remember, in my flour, I put my salt, my baking soda, which is a half teaspoon of each. I put a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, okay? I'll probably break this down into three parts here. So just continue to add. We're not putting any liquid in here because it is actually going to turn into a dough, okay? 
it'll be a soft dough, but nonetheless, it's, it's going to be a dough. Let's go ahead on and add some more flour. We'll get our sides. Once again, it stopped in the wrong place, but that's okay. All right. I'm gonna let these go. All right, y'all, look at that beautiful mix there. I'm gonna take and wipe it down one more time, okay? I've added all of my flour. See how thick that is? I've added all of my flour, so what I'm going to do is just let this beat a little bit more, and then I'm going to take it and put it in some plastic so that it can get cold, okay? It can set a little bit. That simple, y'all. That took every bit of a few minutes there to get this mixed up. And these tea cakes are the best. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to let it beat just a little bit more. And we'll wrap them and put them in the fridge, remember, at least an hour. All right, y'all, I thought I would come back and I'm going to leave you hanging, okay? I did add my vanilla, and I'm just taking my dough out of here. Okay, isn't that a gorgeous... Let's call it cake dough, okay? It's in between cookie and cake dough. Not as stiff as cookies, but putting them in the fridge is gonna stiffen them up a little bit. All right. I got my plastic here. All right, I'm just trying to get it all off of here. All right. Clean hands, yes. And we're just going to take and you'll see just what I'm going to do with them. I'm not going to make them into a perfect ball, but we just want this to go into the fridge. So you kind of roll it up. All right. I want you to see I didn't mean a perfect ball because this is soft. And I don't want you to think, well, it's soft. How can you? All right. Just like that could y'all see me do that and i'm going to take and put another piece of plastic over it plastic i hate working with this plastic y'all it's like never does what you want it to do okay put it on the top of it okay this goes in the fridge all right i'll see you when it comes out all right y'all i am back with that dough it has been a while i must admit i have been out taking care of errands you know we're one week out from christmas so i had some things to do but that's fine okay this sat several hours all right doesn't have to sit that long, but because I had something to do and it doesn't hurt it at all, okay? So what I'm going to do, because I work with smaller pieces of dough better, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut it. And I think I'm going to cut it into fours, okay? And work with small pieces. All right, if you want to cut it in half and work with half of it, that, that will work too. All right, so I'm going to take and we're going to put some flour down and we're going to roll these out. Now, you can make these as thick or as thin as you want. Okay, there's no certain uh, measurements for these as to how thick you make them. It, it all depends on what you like. All right, depends on the way you want them. Either way, whether they're thick or thin, they're going to be soft, okay? So let me take out a piece here. We'll set this aside. And I won't be able to get them all into the oven at the same time. So while these are cooking, the rest of the dough I'll put back 
into the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. Now, when you pull them out, it's going to be a little stiff. Okay, you can let them sit out just for a few minutes. Not a long time because um, these will warm up on you. They're, they'll warm up the dough that is. And then it's, it'd be kind of hard to work with. All right. So we're just going to take and work with it just a smidgen. And then we're going to take and roll them out. Put some flour on your rolling pan. I have two pans here. Two sheet pans or cookie pans, whatever you call them. Okay, and I'm not going to roll these out too much because I, I don't want them real thin. All right. And the only cutters I have are the ones that are shaped. Last year I made them for the kids. We use these cutters here. Okay, so we're going to cut out as many as we can. And I made these last year, y'all, on camera. Look at that. And I have a cookie sheet here that I put some parchment paper in. We're going to put them right on top of that parchment paper. We're going to let them cook at 325 for 8 to 10 minutes, y'all. Okay? And now this dough is going to make quite a few of them. I don't remember how many it makes exactly okay that's how easy these tea cakes are and you make them any shape you want of course I just don't have a small cookie cutter and see they're already this dough is already getting kind of soft because once you roll them they warm up the dough warms up Okay. And if they break up, don't worry about it. It's just a cookie. Okay, so we take and we roll the rest of them here. I'm just going to take and kind of put it back together. And let's put some flour up under them so that we can get them up. That simple. Right, so I'm going to take and press out, cut out the rest of them. And when I have them all done, I'll come back and show them to you. All right, y'all, I got my two pans here. Okay, it looks like it's about two dozen here, and I still have more dough okay these are going to go in the oven eight to ten minutes all right y'all there's our cookies there's one tray and here's the other one i'm going to let them cool just and i let them stay in there for 10 minutes okay some are smaller than others just depends on if you roll your dough out evenly or not but it doesn't ma matter see there it's already moving they don't stick so i'm going to let them Let's look at the back of them. Beautiful. Beautiful. And they're soft, y'all. They are so soft. I'm going to let them cool a little bit. And then I'm going to put them on a platter. And I'm also going to roll out the rest of my dough. And I'll be back. All right, y'all. I'm back. Look at these cookies. They are not cookies, y'all. <coughs> tea cakes. Tea cakes. And look how many. It's probably close to three dozen here. That, that one batch made. And I want to show you. The inside of these tea cakes. Look at that. See how soft that that is. Uh, mm hmm. It's got a nice outer. It's not too crunchy, but it's soft. It's in between a cake and a cookie. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. That is good. You can taste that little bit of cinnamon. And that little bit of nutmeg and vanilla in those. Yes. And you can put any kind of spices in here that you want. But try these. They are a great cookie for Christmas. 
or any time of the year, really. And I have so many. Um, and I'm, because I'm going to make some more cookies that I want to share with you, I'll probably take ha half of these out of the house. Okay, we're going to share them. Yes. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you real soon with another video. Bye-bye.